So hello and welcome to this uh, Adobe Anime tutorial and in this video I am going to show you uh, published settings in uh, Adobe Animate. I am not going to show you all of the published settings but I am going to show you uh, the ways how you can export the images and uh, JPEGs and PNGs and uh, vectors and uh, how you can achieve that you are going to have a smaller file size than 150 kilobytes which is for example for the Google Ads. So uh, we are going to use uh, three images, uh, three JPEGs and two PNGs. Uh, the JPEGs uh, I am going to have from the side uh, Pixabay. Uh, this is uh, free for use and I'm going to put the link in the description. And I'm also going to provide you uh, the, the JPEGs that I have adjusted in the Photoshop because we are going to have these JPEGs which are going to be smaller. And I'm also going to provide you uh, PNGs. I am just going to have the logo of the Animate and uh, HTML. 5 logo you can use any pngs but if you want you can download the files that i'm going to give you so i will give you these jpegs and i will give you these pngs and also i will give you the links for this uh, for this pixabay site and basically i will very quickly show you that on the pixabay you can just uh, download this you can choose the uh, the size that you want so i went with uh, this uh, 1280 by 699 you can just download and you can uh, you can uh, save this so wherever you want you have also option to donate and so on uh, but you can save this uh, i have this like image one image two image three but i am going to hit uh, cancel because i already saved this and uh, yeah so basically uh, i am going to have images like so which is going to be if i right click and i go to the properties and i go to the details which are going to be this 1280 by uh, 4 uh, 448 this is like a different image but uh, but yeah uh, so this one is going to be uh, the the same size that we have downloaded so so yeah and what i did in the photoshop this is up to you uh, but uh, I went uh, with uh, like new document and I went like uh, with uh, 330 uh, by 616 uh, in Adobe Animate we are going to go with 300 by 600 so you do not need to have this like 330 but I just wanted to create these images a little bit bigger so I am going to make sure that uh, they are going to like fit perfectly and I just want to have this in the Photoshop as a pixels uh, RGB uh, a resolution 72 and so on so i just uh, create new document and then what i did is uh, i went to the place where i have the images downloaded and i just drag it to the photoshop one by one and then i can scale this with the alt or option to go from the center no shift uh so like uh, this and uh, yeah and now i can go ahead and position this wherever i want but uh, yeah and then i can just export this as a jpeg so i can go with file I can go with export, I can go with export the uh, S and I can choose uh, that I want to have this as a JPEG and when you are going to export this as a JPEG you have an option for the quality uh, if you go with 7 you are going to have the higher uh, file size so I went maybe with uh, 5 you can go also with uh, 4 all of this is like uh, quality versus file size <laughs> but yeah so I went with uh, 5 and I just exported this and I just call this image one uh, and I put it this to, to the folder and then the second image I have like image two and so on. So yeah, uh, I have the, <laughs> the, the images in the folder jpegs image one image two image three i'm going to provide you this but i also give you the 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 link for the pixabay so that's up to you but yeah right now i will go to the adobe animate and i am going to create new document so Control n command n and i am going to choose the size uh, which is like for the google ads uh, so i will go with uh, 300 by uh, 600 and in this video i am not going to show you like the whole process uh, how to prepare banners for the google ads i have a separated tutorial about this and i can put the link in the description but in this tutorial we are going to talk about different publish settings so yeah i am just going to keep this uh, as the html5 canvas frame rate i can keep as it is and i am just going to click create and now i will let me just uh, close the the files that i have in here 
like so and like uh, so okay and now i will go to the place where i have the the images the the smaller images that we have adjusted in the photoshop and i am just going to drag them uh, to the adobe animate like so this is automatically going to put me this uh, if uh, you are going to be in the properties and you go to the library it is automatically going to put me this in the library uh, i am in the window workspace uh, essentials so yeah and if you cannot see some layers and anything that i have you can get it uh, in the window in uh, here but uh, but yeah for example a line but yeah so right now i have this in the in the library so if i want i can uh, one by one delete this from the from the stage and i can uh, put it one by one to the stage so i can go for example with the with the image one and i am just going to drag it from the library uh, to the stage uh, first of all we will have to create some very basic uh, quick animation to have something to just export <laughs> uh, so yeah so I'm going to put this uh, to the stage. I can go to the align tool and I can choose that I want this uh, align to stage and I can align this horizontally and align this vertically and yeah. Uh, if you cannot see things outside of the stage, there is this clip content outside of the stage, but uh, yeah. And now what I'm going to do very simply is uh, I am going to uh, convert this image to the symbol to be able to animate this. So I will go to the modify convert to symbol or F8. Uh, I can call this to be symbol one or I can call this to be image one. I want this to be movie clip and I am just going to click OK. And basically I am just going to create an animation that I will go to maybe frame 30 and I'm going to create new keyframe F6 or right click insert the keyframe. So in between I do not want to have any motion and then I will go maybe to frame uh, 40 and I'm going to create new keyframe F6 and on this new keyframe I will click on this I will go to the properties I will go to the color effects and I will open this I will go to the alpha and I'm going to put alpha to the zero and I will go anywhere in between I will right click and I'm going to choose create classic twin so basically I'm just going to have the animation then this is going to fade away like uh, like so I can go ahead and rename this layer to be image uh, one for example and now I am going to create very quickly new layer and I'm going to go to the library and I'm going to get image number two and uh, yeah so so uh, yeah, we need to have some kind of animation to uh, to have the, <laughs> to be able to uh, publish this and show you. So right now I am going to convert this with the shortcut to the symbol F8. This is going to be image number two movie clip and I'm going to click OK and I'm going to rename this layer to be image number two. And basically I can put this image number two. I can drag it below the image one. And uh, yeah, and I can get this uh, keyframe. It's not necessary, but I am just going to drag it uh, in here like so. So uh, we do not need to have the image to visible because uh, there is going to be image one. And then image one is going to fade away and we are going to see the image number two. And I can just extend the image two so I can right click and uh, I can uh, go with insert uh, keyframe like so and then one more time I am going to create new keyframe of this F6 and I am going to uh, fade away this one so one more time properties uh, color effects alpha and I am going to put it to the zero like so and I am going to create classic twin so this is just going to go away and very quickly I am just going to create the last one so this is going to be image number uh, three I will go to the library I will get the image number three I will put it in here I can align this very quickly like so convert it to the symbol f8 image number three okay movie clip and I am just going to put it uh, below like so uh, and uh, uh, one more time if I want I can uh, I can keep the, the keyframe at the beginning because it's not going to be visible because it's below but I can uh, select this keyframe and I can put it where the image 2 is going to start to fade away and right now I can just extend this so I can right click and I can go with insert the keyframe but I am not going to animate this or anything so I can just insert frame and it is just going to extend me the, the timeline. So right now if I go with control enter command enter to see this in the browser I am just going to have very simple animation that I am going to have images and they are just going to fade away like uh, like so. I am not going to play with the animation because that's not the point. Uh, and uh, right now we can uh, we can go ahead and see the the, the published settings. Okay. Uh, first of all, I will have to save this, so I will go with Control S, Command S, and I'm going to choose a place where I want to have this. So I have the folder folder tutorial and I'm going to 
create new folder which I'm going to call to be animate for example and I am going to go inside and I will call this somehow so I can call this to be kitchens because there is like the, the we have the images of the kitchens and I'm going to click save so now if I go to that place where I save this so I am going to have the animate folder I am going to have my animate uh, file and I'm going to also have some recovery animate animate file but that is going to be the same but as soon uh, once I have saved this and uh, I go with control enter to see this in the browser uh, this is automatically going to uh, publish me in the place where I have my animate file where I have my animate file and some recovery animate file it is automatically going to publish me some JavaScript some HTML and some folder with the images and if I open this folder I am going to have like uh, this one big image like uh, so Okay, for now I am going to delete the JavaScript, I am going to delete the HTML and I am going to delete the images and I would like to, uh, and that's something that we want to do, uh, to publish this to the separated uh, place. So I can, I can go to the file, I can go to the publish settings and I can go to this little uh, icon, select publish destination and you can choose any place on your PC uh, where you want to publish this. So, but I usually go to the place where I have my animate file. So it is in here. You cannot see it, but it's in here. And I create new folder, which I can call index. We used to send uh, to the clients folder with the index and I will go inside of that folder and I can call this to be kitchen.js index JS, it really doesn't matter uh, but I am just going to click save okay and right now if I go uh, in here I am going to have animate file and I'm going to have some index and as soon as I go with control enter uh, to see this in the browser or I go with uh, file and uh, publish uh, it is automatically going to publish me uh, in the index folder the same things JavaScript HTML and some images okay let me let me delete them like so. So right now I am going to have index folder, but it's going to be empty and we can take a look to the publish settings. So I will go to the file. I will go to the publish settings and uh, in here we have some options, but we are not going to go with the loop timeline, include hidden layer, uh, make responsive and so on. That's for maybe another tutorial. We are going to be uh, focusing right now on the export image assets, how we want to export our images. So there is, uh, there is this option export S. And we have an option to export this as a texture. We have the uh, option export this as a sprite sheet, or we have the option to export this as an image assets. If I'm going to go with the texture, it is going to convert everything uh, to the PNG. Okay, we have our images as a JPEGs. Okay, so I can one more time show you, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I have uh, the the JPEGs. They are image one JPEG, image two JPEG, image three JPEG. But when I choose that I want to have a texture, uh, it doesn't matter whether I am going to have a PNG or whether I am going to have JPEG, it is going to convert this uh, to the JPEG. Uh, then we can go, there is like also like HTML and JS settings. We are not going to work with this in this tutorial, but we are going to go to the image settings. And when we have this as a, as a texture, we can also change this in here from texture to sprite sheet and so on. But when we have this as a texture, we have an option uh, whether we want to have the quality of the PNG to be 8 bits or we want to have this as a 32 bits. So for now, I can keep this as 8 bits. So I'm going to just go with OK. I will go with File and I will go with Publish. And right now, if I go uh, to, the, to the place where I have this, so Tutorial, Animate, Index and uh, Images like so i am going to have a uh, kitchen atlas something dot png and i am going to open this so i am going to have all three images in one big image and this image is going to be a png okay uh what else is uh, this uh, this uh, texture doing uh, this texture you can um, i don't know if you can read this on my uh, screen but you can read it on your uh, animate there is like convert complex shapes to meet the bitmap for better performance okay that means that if i am going to have some kind of vector in here uh, it is going to convert me the vector uh, to the png in this tutorial, I do not have a vector for you to provide you. You can try this with the vectors, but what I'm going to do, 
is uh, I am going to create some kind of text. So I am going to create new layer and the, the, the text is uh, like a, a vector. And uh, what I'm going to do is I can go to the properties and I'm going to get a uh, text and I'm going to choose maybe a uh, black uh, color like so. And in here I'm going to just type uh, kitchen for example, like so. I can make this little bit bigger so I can play with the, with the font size. The font, I am, it really doesn't matter, that's not the point but I am just going to write in here like the kitchen okay and I go with the file and I go with the publish and right now if I go uh, to my uh, to my index to my images I am going to still have one big PNG but if I open this I am going to have the, the, <laughs> the images but I am also going to have the text kitchen in here okay so this was like a vector but it is going to be converted uh, to the to the PNG the same thing would be, oh, and of course, if you are going to have any vector and you are going to have this uh, as a uh, as a, a texture, it is going to uh, put the, the vector uh, not as a vector, but as a PNG. Okay, right now I can just rename this and I can call this to be txt and I can create new folder and I'm going to call this to be btn because I want to show you a few more things. Uh, so right now if I'm going to get a rectangle tool to create some kind of button, there is an option for the rectangle options when you have, the, when you have like the, the classic rectangle and this is just going to make the corners to be radius. So I can go maybe with uh, 20 and right now I am going to just create a shape like so and you can see that the, the corners are going to be rounded and I can just for example get a white text so I'm going to get the text tool and I'm going to uh, type in here like more info or something like this okay now I am going to make the text little bit uh, smaller like so okay and I am just going to put it uh, to the center you can align this with the align but I am just going to eyeball this and for example I can click on the shape uh, with the shift I can click on the text so I'm going to select both of them and I can convert it to the symbol so f8 and this is going to be for example btn and I'm going to keep this as a movie clip and for example I can animate the opacity so I can create new keyframe f6 I can go to the the initial keyframe I can click on this and I can go to the color effects and I can make the alpha to be zero and I can go anywhere in between right click and create classic twin so we are just going to have like some button which is going to fade in like so but right now if I go with file and I will go with publish uh, it is going to uh, also, <laughs> I am going to open this, it is going to uh, create the, the text kitchen uh, as a PNG, but also the text more info as a PNG, and it is also going to create this uh, shape as a PNG, okay? Uh, the thing is that one more time, if I go to the publish settings, uh, there is like convert complex shapes to bitmap for better performance. For some reason, uh, the, the rectangle with the rounded corners is going to be complex shape. But if I create one more layer and right now I will go to the rectangle tool and I'm going to choose uh, maybe a red color to, to be able to see this and I'm just going to create a rectangle and I will go back because <laughs> I would like to put this uh, to be zero, these rectangle options. So I just want to have the, the shape like so without the rounded corners and I'm going to go with file and I'm going to go with publish. Right now, if I go to the to the PNG uh, that we have, we are not going to have this shape because uh, the rectangle for some reason is not complex shape and the rectangle with the rounded corners is uh, the complex shape. So it's not going to convert everything to the PNG. Uh, for example, if you are going to have like oval tool or you are going to have a poly style tool, uh, it's probably not going to convert it. It depends, depends on, the, on the complexity of the, of the shape, okay. Now what we can do is uh, I don't recommend you to uh, because of the file size when you are going to have a PNGs 
you do not want to convert your uh, when you are going to have JPEGs. You do not want to convert your JPEGs to the PNGs because then the file size is going to be too big and you are not going to be able to have this uh, smaller than 150 kilobytes. So right now what I'm going to do is I will go to the file, I will go to the publish settings and I'm going to change this from the texture uh, to, the, to the sprite sheet. Okay, and I'm going to click OK. But when I change this to the sprite sheet from the texture, what I will have to do is I will have to go to the index folder and I'm going to delete everything like so. Okay, later on I will show you why I am deleting this. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to delete this. And right now I will go to the file and I'm going to one more time publish settings. So right now we are on the sprite sheet and I am going to go with file and I'm going to go with publish. And right now when I publish this as a sprite sheet and I will go to the images. Okay, I am going to... I am still going to have this as a PNG, okay? But right now I am not going to have my uh, text, uh, my other text and my uh, like rounded shape. I am not going to have them in here. So when you are going to have a uh, file publish settings uh, sprite sheet, this is not going to convert uh, the vectors or complex shapes uh, to the PNG. But when you are going to have a sprite sheet and you go to the image assets, you are going to have an option to have this as a PNG, to have this as a JPEG or to have this as a boat. So I am going to go with JPEG and I'm going to go with OK and I will go with file and I will go with publish. And right now if I go in here and that's the reason why I was deleting this because right now when I uh, change this to the JPEG, it is going to uh, publish me this also as a JPEG, but it is going to keep the PNG that I had before. So one more time, I am just going to delete all of this and I will go to the file and I am going to go with publish. Uh, so right now I have this uh, as a sprite sheet and I set this uh, to, the, to the JPEG. And right now if I am going to uh, see this, this is going to be like uh, kitchenatlas.jpg and it is just going to be one big, uh, one big JPEG. Okay, I can go to the file, I can go to the publish settings and I can go to the image settings and if I'm going to choose that I want this to be a JPEG, I am going to have an option for the JPEG settings, uh, the similar as we had in the Photoshop. In the Photoshop we have like the quality 7, 6, 5, 4, we, we went, I went with 5, <laughs> maybe you went with something else, but in here we have an option for the JPEG quality. So if I'm going to change this to 100 and I'm going to click OK. Uh, you can see that the, the JPEG was like 90 kilobytes, but right now if I'm going to go file and I'm going to go with publish, uh, it is going to be like uh, 293 kilobytes, okay? Right now we are not changing this from uh, JPEG to PNG, so we do not need to delete this because this is just going to rewrite, rewrite the JPEG, but when we are ch changing this from JPEG to PNG, it is going to save both of them, so that's why I was deleting it. Hopefully makes sense, but yeah, I can go publish settings and I can change this maybe uh, to 60 if I need uh, to have this smaller and I can go with file and I can go this with publish and right now this is going to be like uh, 60 something kilobytes. This all depends like uh, quality versus file size and uh, and yeah. Okay, now uh, this uh, could be fine, okay, but uh, let's, uh, let's add additional things in here. Uh, this uh, this shape I am just going to this layer six with this shape I am going to delete and I am going to create a new layer and I'm going to call this for example logo one and I am going to go uh, to the to the place in here like so tutorial and uh, as I said I am going to provide you these PNGs I just downloaded them from the Google like uh, uh, animate logo PNG HTML5 PNG. So, so yeah, you can use any PNG, but uh, but yeah. And I am going to drag this animate logo uh, to the to the Adobe Animate like so. It is going to be pretty big, so I can go with Q, uh, free transform tool, and with the shift to stay with the proportions, I am going to scale this like uh, like so. Now I am going to have a little issue. Maybe you are going to be able to see this, maybe not that that much. But if I go with Control Enter, Command Enter, uh, okay. 
Uh, I have put it this uh, to the Adobe Animate, but I was on the timeline in here, so it is going to put me the logo in here, and that's fine. But I can move the keyframe of the logo to the beginning if I want. But if I go with Control Enter, you can see that this is not longer going to be a PNG, and you can see these little uh, white uh, corners in here like so. Okay, because right now what I did is uh, in the in the file in the publish settings uh, i have this as a sprite sheet and when i have this as a sprite sheet uh, i have this option png jpeg and both and i left this as a G jpeg so right now all of the jpegs and all of the pngs are going to be jpegs okay so i can go with okay and uh, and I, if i go with file and i go with the publish uh, right now if i go to the to the animate folder, to the index, to the to the images, I am going to have also the this animate logo as a, as a JPEG. Okay, uh, but if I if I right now delete this like so, and I will change this to uh, file publish settings, and I will change this to the texture like so, and I will go with OK, and I go file, and I go publish. Uh, right now, uh, this is going to be this is going to be working fine because we have this uh, as a PNG. And right now, if I go to the Im images, we are right now not going to have this as a JPEG, but we are going to have this as a PNG. Uh, one more time. Uh, Right now we are going to have the text also converted uh, to, the, to the PNG and we are going to have uh, the logo uh, which is going to be fine. Okay, let me one more time <laughs> delete all of this because uh, that's something that I said that's not very good uh, to have the JPEGs as a PNG. That's why when we go to the publish settings and we go uh, to the sprite sheet, uh, we have in here in the image settings option to choose the boat. And when we are going to choose the boat, we are going to have an option uh, for the PNG settings and we are going to have an option for the JPEG settings. So for example, I can put the JPEG uh, quality to be 80 right now and I can put the PNG settings uh, to be 32. This is something that you play with this quality when you are trying to go lower your file size, for example, to be smaller than 150 kilobytes. But right now, if I go with this and I will go, uh, uh, I, will, I will make sure that I have deleted this, okay. And right now if I go with the file and I go with the publish right now what is going to happen is in this index folder in the images I am going to have uh, two images uh, one of them is going to be like uh, this uh, JPEG and this JPEG is going to contain the JPEGs and we can uh, play with the uh, file size of the JPEG uh, with the settings in the publish settings and then it is going to be, uh, I am going to have this animate file as a, as a PNG, okay? I am going to, I can keep this for now in here. And what I'm going to do, uh, just to just so this is clear, <laughs> I am going to uh, go to the PNGs folder and I am going to create new new layer and this is going to be logo number two, for example. And I am going to also drag the this HTML like so, and I can I can scale this uh, like uh, like so. On this HTML right now, if I would uh, one more time go to the file uh, publish settings and change this uh, uh, to be JPEG, and I'm going to click OK. On this HTML, you are going to see much better that <laughs> this is going to be uh, converted uh, to the to the JPEG. But uh, let me one more time go to the to the animate and let me. Uh, delete everything in here and let me put this the way that I want so file publish settings image settings uh, I can go with the sprite sheet and I'm going to go with both okay and I'm going to file and I'm going to publish and right now what is going to happen is that I have two PNGs so it is going to uh, put all of the PNGs that I would have as a, as a PNG all of the JPEGs is going to put as uh, JPEGs and the vectors and text and complex shapes, they are going to be like in this uh, JavaScript or, may or maybe like uh, like some combination to HTML and JavaScript, but I, but I guess the, the it's going to be with the JavaScript, but that's really not the, not the point. Okay, now imagine that we would like to uh, have this like uh, uh, smaller than 150 kilobytes. Uh, 
I said that I have a separate tutorial of uh, how to prepare banners for the Google Ads, but if you want to uh, create a banner for the Google Ads, there is one additional step. I will go to the file, I will go to the public settings, and I will go to this HTML JS, and there is this option hosted libraries, and this needs to be unchecked. OK, and I will go with OK and I will go with file and I will go with publish. And basically, this is just going to uh, give me one additional uh, additional folder, which is going to be like uh, lips, like the libraries. You can see that this library right now is like uh, 236 kilobytes, but that's fine because it's going to be uh, smaller when I am going to when I am going to uh, compress this to the zip folder. Okay, but yeah, this is something which uh, which has to do uh, which which uh, we need uh, for the Google uh, Google Ads. Okay, so right now if I go to the images, I have like this uh, big JPEG uh, with the, the images. I have this uh, PNG, and now uh, with all of this as we have this, uh, what I would do is uh, right click, uh, go send to, and go with the compressed zip folder. And right now, this uh, file needs to be smaller than 150 kilobytes. Okay, this is not okay. This is 179, so that's going to be an issue. Okay, as I said, there are some additional steps that you need to take care of uh, when you when you publish this for the Google Ads, but those steps are not going to affect the file size, okay? Or maybe just like half of the kilobytes, so that's uh, that's not uh, like something important for the file size. So now, uh, if we want to have this smaller than 150 kilobytes, we need to either take care of the JPEG, or we need to take care of the PNGs, or we need to take care of, on, <laughs> of both of them. So for example, when you have the PNGs, you can go to this uh, website, tiny PNG. This is just going to make the, the PNGs uh, smaller. It depends on the PNG, but this can uh, save you the file size without losing the quality. So I am just going to drag the, the PNG in here like so, and it is going to uh, like convert this. And there is like, I didn't even know the panda is George, that's new, but the George, the panda just saves you 58%. So it went from like 28 kilobytes to 12 kilobytes. And right now what I can do is I can click on this PNG like so, and I can save this and I want to save this uh, to the place where I have my uh, images like so, but I am in the wrong place. So I will go to the tutorial, I will go to the animate, I will go to the index and I will go to the images. And right now I will have to have the name of this to be same as the one that I am putting in here. So I want to replace this. So if you are going to have something in here like a copy or I don't know, you need to get rid of that uh, to have the, the name the same. OK, so you are going to have the name the same when you are going to click uh, save and you are going to have this uh, question. Would you like to replace it? Yes, I would like to replace this. And right now, if I go uh, in here, I am going to have the same PNG, but right now this is going to be smaller. So right now, if I'm going to try, I'm going to go with the, uh, I'm going to right click, I'm going to go send to, and I'm going to go compress the folder, 164 kilobytes. This is still not enough. Okay, let me, let me delete this. And let me go right now uh, to the Adobe Animate file, publish settings. So we need to take care of the JPEG. Okay, so JPEG quality right now is 80. So what I can do is maybe I can put it uh, to be 60 and I'm going to go with OK and I'm going to go with file and I'm going to go with publish. This is fine, but the, the issue is not the real issue. But once I like publish this one more time, it is going to make the, the JPEG smaller, but it is going to rewrite the PNG. And right now we are going to have the same PNG as we had before. OK, so if I would uh, want one more time, I would have to one more time uh, go to the, the tiny PNG. I would have to save this right now. There is going to be this like copy this one. So I would have to uh, get rid of this like so to have the same name and uh, save this and OK. Yes. 
Uh, so right now I'm going to have the, the JPEG smaller and I'm going to have the PNG smaller. And uh, right now I can go ahead and I can right click. I can choose uh, send to one more time, right click, <laughs> send to, compress zip folder. And right now this is going to be 138 kilobytes. So in this case, but this depends on you, you can go ahead and play with the with the jpeg to make the quality a little bit bigger so it's going to be like maybe 147 kilobytes this is just uh, you know just playing uh, the file size and uh, the the quality now let's go uh, with the with the last option so i'm going to delete this zip folder and i'm going to get rid of everything in here like so and if i go to the file and I will go to the publish settings and right now I will go instead of the sprite sheet uh, to the image assets uh, in here there is like publish imported images as it is okay I'm going to go with okay I will go file and I will go publish and we will see what we are going to get so what we are going to get is we are going to have the images and we are going to have the images as we uh, created them like so so we are going to have image one image two image three we are going to have the png and we are going to have have a png and one more time we, with these options all the vectors and all the shapes all the text uh, they are going to be created with the javascript not uh, with the with the uh, as a as a images and now I can just right click and I can go send to and I can go with the compressed zip folder and right now this is going to be like 212 kilobytes so that's not really really good uh, really good <laughs> and uh, yeah one more time uh, if I would like to I can go uh, with uh, these PNGs I can go with these uh, PNGs uh, to the tiny PNG so I could uh, just uh, drag them like so and I can uh, one by one uh, save them uh, to that place or I can uh, save them as, uh, as a zip so right now I will go to the animate index images and I'm going to click save so if you are going to have more uh, PNGs like say let's say you are going to have seven PNGs you can download a zip folder you can right click and you can choose extract here and you you can go with like uh, replace uh, yes to all it is going to replace you this and you can delete the zip folder for from the tiny png but this is still going to be like uh, pretty pretty big it's going to be like right now 187 uh, so so yeah so yeah uh, i would uh, I would go with the with the sprite sheet or I was I would go uh, with the uh, with uh, the texture uh, it depends okay so if I am going to have a banner when I, when I, when I am going to have uh, JPEGs like uh, the, these images I will probably go with the sprite sheet if I am going to have in the banner or also some kind of logo I cannot go with the JPEG I need to go with the boat and I need to like I can work with the PNG settings and JPEG settings if I am going to have a banner where I am going to have like uh, vectors uh, or I am going to have like more PNGs and I am not going to have JPEGs uh, then in that case I would uh, I would go uh, with the uh, with the texture okay uh, maybe the last last thing uh, that I can show you is that if I am going to uh, put this <laughs> right now as a texture just so you can see I'm going to delete everything and I'm going to keep this as a texture and I'm going to make the quality of the PNG small so I'm going to go with OK file and I'm going to go with publish and right now uh, if I go to the images I'm going to have everything in this uh, one PNG but it is going to be like uh, 280 kilobytes but if I put this uh, PNG right now to the, to the tiny PNG uh, it is not going to save me a lot it is going to save me like uh, let me see like uh, 15 percent like not really not really much and if I would download this and I'm going to replace this right now I will have to get rid of this uh, one in the parentheses like so and I'm going to click save and I'm going to replace this uh, right now when I ha have this as a PNG 
uh, the file size is going to be uh, definitely bigger than 150 kilobytes, 303 kilobytes. You cannot work with this. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> uh, this is it. This is all for this uh, tutorial. There are more things in this published settings, uh, but I think that we have covered this uh, like pretty deeply. Also, this uh, image settings, uh, this HTML and J JS. There is like few things, but uh, I am not also like the expert in everything. These compact shapes, for example, I am not really sure uh, what <laughs> what does the, what what it does. But uh, but yeah, uh, in um, in maybe other tutorial I can go with this like uh, make responsive and uh, so on. But yeah, this is something that I just wanted to show you. So yeah, I hope that you have learned something. I hope that right now you are going to be able to use this correctly. And yeah, if anyone have been here until this point, you can write me the, in the comments. That would mean a lot to me. And yeah, one more time, thank you very much. Have a nice day and goodbye.